afternoon, Wellness Way people, followers. <laughs> oh, oh, I did it again. Uh -oh. <laughs> Every time I do this. It's so I am here now. with, we're all back together. Hey. I know, it's hey. so nice. I feel like there's a song. Well, if I could sing, I would sing it. No. The boys are back in town. No, no we're not the Except boys. for the girls. Maybe. Except for the girls. <laughs> um, so I've got Christy, Dr. Patrick Flynn's wife. Got Kim, Dr. Jason's other half. Me. <laughs> I'm not dating any doctors. <laughs> no. Fancy, Fancy Nancy from usually behind the camera. We yes. get her out once a week. Mm -hmm. And Miss Renee. I say that because that's what my kids call her. Actually, my kids call you a horsey. Horsey? Horsey? Yes. Why? What's the because story there? Because Jace Renee. So he called her Renee. Got it. <laughs> oh so it went from <laughs> Nay to Nay. Horsey. So for a while he called her Nay, and now he just calls her Horsey. And once a nickname like that sticks, you can't get rid of that. Yeah, that's pretty that's cute. True. That's it's best. cute. I don't mind it at all. My <laughs> kids used to differentiate between the grandmas by the name of the dog that they have, which is awful. <laughs> but my mom's, <laughs> my my parents' dog's name was Roxy, and my in-laws' dog's name was Sadie. So oh, they're nice names. Grandma, grandma, grandma Roxy grandma. and Grandma Sadie. I was like Grandma Fido. I know. No, I don't like, like it. Depends grandma, on what the dog name yeah. is. Grandma, but but grandma it's Grandma Nitschke. <laughs> grandma Nitschke. <laughs> Grandma Roxy oh, and Grandma no Sadie, one. but now Sadie passed away, the golden retriever, and so now my three-year-old like doesn't know why it's Grandma Sadie, and it just, it's so funny. Another golden retriever named Grandma Sadie, or, <laughs> <laughs> named, named Sadie, named Sadie. Grandma I swear Sadie. I know five golden really? retrievers named and they're Sadie, all that, and I know a bunch of pugs named Bella. Yeah. Um, two. Once you start, oh, once Bella? You start yeah. watching Maybe it's it, the it's same a thing. One. No, I don't right. think so. Pugs no. named Bella. Anyway. Anyways, we're all back together. <laughs> we're here to answer any questions that you have. We throw a light theme out for episodes so that you know what we might be talking about. It helps us go back. We get a lot of messages, excuse me, a lot of messages saying, do you have a thing for this? Do you have a thing for that? So we can throw out the links of YouTube shows. So this one, we are going to talk about co-sleeping, and we're definitely going to get there. In the meantime, comment, like, share, tell us where you're from. Um, and of course, if you're watching in the replay, tell us replay because we know two o'clock isn't the best time for moms mm -hmm. or really. women or humans in general. <laughs> to sit in, <laughs> maybe the aliens are watching. Maybe. Lunch coma. To watch, yeah, lunch coma. We're all trying to wake up for the show. But let us know where you're watching from. We do really good asking people to let us know to replay and to let us know where they're from. You know what we don't ever say? To if you're like. live. To oh, like, oh, so like you look, and yeah, we did a uh, two weeks ago. We did a Sunday night moms after dark. We did a healthy alcoholic drinks um, show. It was really fun. Anyways, we had like 187 comments and 12 likes. That was like, because oh, everybody gets so <laughs> it's more fun than shares <laughs> and <laughs> and yeah. so Brandon and Uriah would like me to do a PSA <laughs> that says please like please love like it. like like. All that good stuff because like it, we forget to it. say that. So I was gonna sing the song, but I'll hold off. <laughs> you want some more of it? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I gotta start with a story, and then we're gonna talk about cold sleeping. So I get to my office today, and there's a box, and it's a box from some popcorn company, right? And I'm like, what is this? Is my husband trying to make up? Is there gonna be organic popcorn in here? And it's a box and there's a letter in it and of course it caught my eye because it had a pun and it said this might be the corniest advertisement I've ever done. I'm like, oh this is cute. Before I finish the letter I open it up and it's full of crap popcorn. Coated in dyes and cheese and I'm like, it's all mixed together. It's So not only is it, I'm sure, not organic and non-GMO, it's full of crap. It's an advertisement for a weight loss software. <laughs> what? <laughs> Like so Dr. Greens Jason is sure going to go live about this later. He actually has the popcorn. I gave it to oh, him. Oh, that's funny. Mm. But they are selling a weight loss software. They want us to put, if you want to get our attention, or you want to get anybody's attention, don't send caramel no, shit audience popcorn. popcorn. I wanted to say that on Facebook. Yeah, you just did. Popcorn oh. <laughs> to get our attention for a weight loss software. But it worked. Uh, no, it didn't. Well, it's in I the mean, garbage. It, it, it they got it because they got attention. They got attention. We're, attention. we're right. sure <laughs> not going to mention point. their yeah. name. I mean, it's hard not to get the attention considering yeah. it's a weight loss software. Yeah, we once and here's your junk. Yeah. Had a supplement company 
and yeah. a really good supplement company. The rep came in. You know, we're one of the largest oh. distributors in the Northwest, and <laughs> we were till we started making our own. Yeah. And the rep came in and brought us festival cupcakes. Oh. So, red dye, they had blue artificial party, colors, yellow. flavors. I mean, not sugars. only were they, we've gotten things where they're homemade but not gluten free. Right. Like, okay, most right. of us can't have this, but whole you foods. went out of your way to find, yeah, Whole Foods. Crap cupcakes from mm -hmm. festival, nothing against festival. That's They've called got good not stuff knowing there. your audience. Yeah, but then we do have the people who know us and send us the organic fruits yeah. and all of those Oh, Immunolab treats, which sends is, us yeah. organic right. oranges, like every year shipped in. Yeah, yeah. And they Super also fun. probably get more plugs because of it, because <laughs> they actually we know who we are that. and what we do. No, no but I just thought it was crazy yeah. because that is take funny. us aside and knowing what we do, you're a weight loss software and you're sending candy. Basically. Did they say anything in the letter about like that it was a pawn or, or no? That, it, like really this might be the corniest advertisement, like, but I hope it gets played no. on anything. I hope you enjoy this. Let's reach out and have a conversation. I'll be able to get through my sales pitch before the time it takes you to eat this popcorn. In other words, take oh, this popcorn. Like this quick. Much, so. yeah. Take this popcorn. Yeah. Sit back and let's talk about weight loss. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Uh, That's so funny. So. Hey, we do Ooh, have a question. Do you want me to Ooh, yes. address it here? Hi, everyone. Jean, Dr. Nathan, Chloe, Donna, Amanda, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. Um, all right. Christina has a question. Oh, I knew you were going to ask. Maybe Christina knows the answer. I don't know this the answer. This question? Yeah. Oh, good. I waited until 12 months to start my daughter in solids. She's almost 15 months and still has undigested foods coming out. Is that normal? Her primary source of nutrition is still breast milk. <laughs> you stumped us. No pressure. No pressure. Well, We're gonna... I mean, it means. I guess what, what kinds of, what of kinds food? Of, yeah, what kinds like of chia foods? seeds? Like, because I always mean, yeah, chia yeah. seeds. Like corn, 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 corn um, peas normally, are going to come showing I mean, up like that. Yeah. Like what dried peas. Foods? Those organic if, dried peas will come out. Now, if organic she, dried peas. If your yeah. child is Maybe not, not properly like actually chewing the foods and it's coming through whole, it's not necessarily going to break down as much. So mm -hmm. I mean that oh, we can could happen. Be because looking the kids, at so many things. This brings us back I mean, to we yeah. don't test. We don't, we don't guess. guess. We <laughs> test. I mean, but if it is <laughs> a, a it's been a while. Yeah. of not enough acid and not being able, you know Food what I mean? Allergies, like, not enough acid, not enough something going. But on. Yeah. I would step back and find out like Depending on what kind food. of food is it and. What, like, I'll are tell they you actually what. chewing it? Well, and are they like, thriving you... in other ways, too, you know? Mm -hmm. Christina, right. and for those of you that don't know, if you message any of our pages, we have awesome doctors that reply to those. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we reply when there are questions mm -hmm. that we know, but oh, absolutely. we also have an awesome group of doctors that help with all of our social media. So if you shoot that message, that mm -hmm. question in a message to the Wellness Way page, Christina, one of the doctors will happily reach out, give you a, a snapshot some thoughts get you back via email or Facebook so mm -hmm. same Absolutely. with all you guys questions obviously we want you to ask them live lifestyle stuff we can do foods recipes I mean you can touch on skin disorders because you've been through it and you can you know touch on the stomach just all different things that we have we can put we on can give you our experience our on it, our yeah. spin get on real it. Mm -hmm. but for that technical that the doctor kind of stuff shoot a question to the yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome <laughs> Jean says, each of my kids as babies slept with me because mama has got to sleep and baby has got to eat. Yes. Amen. Let's talk about sleeping. <laughs> <Right. laughs> That's right. Ooh, uh, Christine, for instance, she has some black olives and they came out. She eats raw sauerkraut all the time and that doesn't fully digest either. Those are great questions, Christina, and I'm not going to sit here and pretend to know the, the yeah, correct we don't answer, know, we don't know. but we're going to get one of the docs to... Yeah, but the sauerkraut, that, that's a really that's fibrous super something, fibrous. so I, that doesn't surprise me that it would come in the poop that way. That doesn't surprise me. The olives, maybe she's not chewing them. Yeah. I'll love to get back to you on oh that. My oh my goodness. goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. But you can't, so nobody else do it. <laughs> so, but I can't. <laughs> theme on each episode and mm -hmm. today we are going to touch on co-sleeping. It's a big thing in our household mainly because mama had to get sleep as Jean said. Mm -hmm. I did not sleep co-sleep with Bella. Um, 
she's now 13. Actually, I did sleep with her a lot because the only time we got, as a single mom, the only time we got time together was when we were sleeping. Mm -hmm. um, and when she was about one or two, just based on everything I was told, that she needed to be in her own bed. And so we went through this, this it kills me to talk about it, but I talk about it so that people know. I think that she cried it out basically in a nutshell. We didn't do extreme cry it out. She was definitely older. She was not three months, four months, but she did. And she's still afraid of the dark. She's still afraid of basements. She's definitely dealt with anxiety issues as we've talked about on the show before. Mm -hmm. um, in my heart, do I think that's why kids have all these issues? Am I sitting here saying, anybody that's done cry it out or does not co-sleep you know, you probably didn't co sleep with your kiddos. That was not a thing. What did that wasn't a thing? We, it wasn't. It wasn't really a thing. So I put the um, just so by myself doing my own thing. Your kids are now fifteen and thirteen. Yep, fifteen and thirteen. So we put the pack and play. I put it next to my side of the bed with the bassinet in it, mm -hmm. and then just slept with my hand in the pack and play. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and mm -hmm. my kids were, they were really easy. I mean, um, we also were kind of from a, a different. Um, scenario where I didn't know all of this stuff and then Carter was a NICU baby mm -hmm. and they started right off the bat in the NICU saying he can't breathe so don't breastfeed him because we don't want him to work so hard to eat so you can yeah. kind of pump if you want to but otherwise give him the formula so we went through this whole thing and of course Carter was the one with all the skin allergies and the ADHD mm -hmm. and all you know and the seasonal allergies and asthma and um, we're reversing those things but when I look back at it I'm like oh yeah yep there's a bunch of stuff that probably never even needed to happen. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't co-sleeping as such a big thing, but I also wasn't like trying to breastfeed all the time because they slept through the night really easy and because they told me not to, so. Yeah, it was. that was Bella too. She slept mm -hmm. through the night from day one. So then when I had Jace, he didn't sleep. Jackson sleeps, Jace still at three, is my crappy sleeper, but mm -hmm. he was up eating, we ended up, it was the only way I could go back to work and function mm -hmm. and so we ended up co-sleeping and we're still there <laughs> but people get downright mad and mean yeah the comments oh yeah the questions I I'm shocked by the the scare tactics used out mm -hmm. there um, and just the lack of information it's a lot more widely available now a lot more co-sleeping stuff of course the the groups that we run in now, it just ends up being normal, but... Well, and even then, like, I didn't do it with the babies, but when they were toddlers and kept climb, climbing back in the bed, I just let them, because mm -hmm. I just figured, as a mom, I'm like, you know what? My kids are going to go away. This mm -hmm. can only last so long. Like, just snuggle them for a while, and they lasted longer than I thought. Yeah. But <laughs> still, I don't regret it, you know, and it was kind of just like, hey, this is just what we're doing. I've had people reach out, message me, and say... I'm breastfeeding and I still work full time, but my mother-in-law is really pushing me, not my mother-in-law, I'm not talking about my mother-in-law, um, I've gotten messages, my mother-in-law or my father-in-law is really pushing me that we need to get this baby out of our bed. And I just want to say, what do you and your husband think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The messages we get from co-sleeping to breastfeeding mm -hmm. to reflux disease to everything saying, my family or my in-laws or this are really pushing but are they in bed with you set yeah. some yeah. boundaries yeah. trust your instinct mm -hmm. i'm huge on trusting your instinct mm -hmm. i saw this video years ago it was actually in the it was big in the autism community it was about trust your instinct and one of the things they talked about was vaccines and then this and food allergies one of the things they said about miralax and i it was it's neurotoxin so we should do an episode on miralax but they will use it to get kids pooping, basically. Mm -hmm. And they put my daughter on it. I said, for how long? And they said, well, the rest of her life. We've talked about this in, I think, yeah. a few episodes yeah. with you. And they said, I said, well, for how long? Well, probably the rest of her life. And I trusted my instinct. That was right. before I worked here. Mm -hmm. That was, I was just beginning as a patient here. And I ended up talking to Doc in the adjusting room. And he was walking me through processes and different things. And there's other episodes on that. But trust your instinct. If your mm -hmm. instinct is telling you I want this baby right here, then then do it. It's it's called the fourth trimester too, when the baby first comes out. They learn how to breathe from you. They learn all kinds of stuff. Christy, so. did you have the kids sleeping with you? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, in the beginning, um, with Faith, of course, my whole family 
slowly realized I wasn't doing things normally. <laughs> and um, I never really got any of this. I kind of got a crib and got a side sleeper thing mm -hmm. and I never used any of them. I ended up gifting them both away. Um, we co sleep all mm -hmm. of them. Um, at the point that Trinity came, we had all of us and it was a family bed. <laughs> um, and then we put Faith in our bedroom yet. <laughs> we always oh, joke really? with her. She's yeah. been with us long. <laughs> she was in like a little toddler bed next to our bed. And then we had the next one. But once Trinity got old enough, they both went up. And then we had the next one in our... I mean, we just... We never didn't have a kid in our bed. We mm -hmm. always had somebody. Um, and now still to this day, they'll, like you said, they'll come. The in little the ones will come or, and snuggle, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. Felicity, she'll, she's gotten so good now where she'll sneak in. I didn't even know she could. Yeah. <laughs> she comes in and sleeps. But I want to, um, I think the fear, and I think that the fear tactics and the bullying and, the, and then that kind of stuff, when it comes to close sleeping, I think that came about when people started being on um, prescription drugs, like the different things, the oh, sleeping sure. drugs, the um, those kinds of things. You they can't, and I highly recommend mm -hmm. if you're on anything, do not. Yes, I've, do not I've had that on my list. I mean, there, there's, there's there are times safety, there's things that you can not. do. Oh, yeah. Like mm -hmm. if if you're if you're going out and you're coming back, you know, after and some you've beverages been drinking even, or whatever, know. you know yeah. what I mean. There, there there's things common sense. Well, I look at it as common sense. Like, don't allow yourself, don't put yourself in that situation. Have that safe way to do it. But then if you're not, if Mm -hmm. Get yeah. some sleep, Mama. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that was the easiest way to get sleep. Yeah, they mm -hmm. just sleep. The, I, with some of them, I never had to, like, I had a couple that I actually, after they ate, I had to burp them, otherwise it's all coming out. But otherwise, you lay down, I would go to sleep, they go to sleep, we all slept. It was mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, I wrote that down. Under the influence of drugs, whether that be recreational or prescription, prescription. Mm -hmm. um, and alcohol. You know, yeah. obviously, that, that that's that's a no-no with cold sleeping. I have moms that'll say, my husband sleeps so hard he would not yeah. even know. Don't push that envelope. Then send the husband to a different bed. Just kidding. <laughs> no, but really, <laughs> or, or put yeah. the baby on the other side. Well, get a bassinet. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they make so many contraptions side. nowadays. They make mm -hmm. safe cold sleepers. Those yeah. halos. What did you use? Dacatots. What did you yeah. use? Like on the, did you put something? Because I used like literally a, a bedside braille. A rail. So then, we yeah. had, so I don't have to wait. Wes is an early, or early, easy wake. He's not a hard, deep sleeper. So anytime baby would move, he would wake up. And so actually, for my sanity, he would move rooms to the guest room or with the butler or one of the other boys because he knew we needed sleep and it would keep, I kept, uh, Jackson or Jace kept waking mm -hmm. him up. Yet he deals with heavy machinery, so I would be like, "You go get some sleep. Yeah, we'll all get more sleep, you know." Right. So, mm -hmm. but um, Dacatots now. We were talking mm -hmm. about that one day. Yeah. It's like what a blow. That? It's like a blow-up like wrap a, that's like two hundred dollars. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, it's <laughs> so expensive. But it's but got a it name. It seems right really now. cool. It's really just like a rim. Yeah. So the the baby. It's can't like a boppy, but a, yeah, it's circle. like a boppy, but it's an inflatable oh, okay, boppy. But it's for it's a certain age. So it's an inner child. Yeah, till certain age. I was gonna say. Mm -hmm. Till so, certain age. Because yeah. at some point that. they get older, and all of a sudden they're like, oh, I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, we had. Yeah. We have a king size bed, and so what we would do a lot is put a pillow in the middle, like a flat pillow. Probably not safe, cold sleeping standards, but again, worked for us. And put baby on top the pillow, so the baby was above us. Oh. Actually, I had one of those, like a Instead not of like rolling, like into the you. hard pillows, uh, mm -hmm. like the chiropractic pillows, not a chiroflow, but the royal oh, sleeper, yeah. whichever. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So it had it was kind of curved for your yep. neck on each side, and it was not squishy, and so we just put because I like baby being up yeah. and not kind of in all of our pillows. Yeah. Now Jackson is a year old and he's roaming around and flipping and turning. <laughs> he actually found out he doesn't want to cuddle when he sleeps. So Jace oh, has really? to be still to this day at four years old. He's got to be right next to you. Yeah. Jackson wants to sleep like this. No covers. No shirt. <laughs> no. So we've got a king size bed, and he's in this yeah, much, and then Jace and I are like right here. I feel like Finley is but. that way too. He doesn't like to have covers on. He's, he usually sleeps between me and Brian, and with his head like touching the headboard, which I think is so funny because he's like <laughs> way far up. 
and just yeah, just sprawls out, kicks Brian every once in a while, you know. Jackson does this new thing where he gets up in the middle of the night and he pounds his nook on the wall. It's very, very fantastic entertaining. It's been about a month and he just sits there for sometimes an hour, sometimes five minutes, he just sits there. Why? I don't know. <laughs> well, so Dr. Alex says that the Dakotot is the best thing ever and it's not inflatable. So I'm It's sorry. not inflatable? <laughs> okay. It's it's not inflatable. Not, it looks like it's inflatable. <laughs> But that's like the equivalent of rolling a towel. Like, isn't that the and old school thing? Putting it under like, the roll sheets. a towel and mm-hmm. you know make a make a bed. That's basically what the dakatat is. I feel like. Yeah, and some people it's not right for you, and you put them in a bassinet oh, next to you. And some people, mm-hmm. I know I talked to one mom. She said I would have loved to have co-slept, but baby kept waking up. Mm-hmm. So we put baby asleep, but in his own room, monitor across the hallway. Never did cry it out, and that has always worked. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. I am not, you have to cold sleep. You have to do it the way we do it. You have to be crutchy. I will say personally, from my own experience, I am anti-cry it out. Because I've, I've done enough research to feel like I wish I wouldn't have done that with my mm-hmm. first. I did it and it's okay. She's still mm-hmm. alive and breathing. <laughs> but, yeah. Speaking of, I use the rock and play. I don't know if you never had one ever those. had those, but... It's like the, it's basically a bassinet, little basket thingy, but it has an incline and then you can rock it or you can lock it. And so I would lay in bed and I would like rock it and put my hand, like kind of like what you were saying, like essentially a bassinet, but now they've all been recalled because (laughs) too much rocking too much. I don't think it's the rocking as much (laughs) as it is the incline, something about the incline, right? What? It's the increase of SIDS because the increase of vaccines. So they're pulling all this so stuff off the so market. So it has nothing to do with the incline of the rock and plays are causing <laughs> Ooh, get a little comf- Uh oh. That's why I had that look on my face. Like, are we going here? We're are we going, going on the so box? I'm oh, like, no. Christy, you know what? Honestly, we have to go there. We have this to. is talking about because cold sleeping. Will. And one of the number one things they say is, "Oh, SIDS, or you're gonna smother." There's no SIDS documented is because case. of yep. vaccines. It is a vaccine injury. It is <laughs> encephalopathy mm. of the brain, mm-hmm. and they're not linking. They're not telling you it's because of vaccines, and it is. And that's the truth. And it's just one of those mystery. It must have been SIDS, right? I mean, that's kind of what it seems like. There's the last a, we don't know what it was, but it's there's zero documented case on record where baby died due to co-sleeping with parents that weren't under the influence of drugs. That's the other there thing. are yeah, yeah. documented that's cases. True. Good God, don't go out and drink so much that you're going to roll on your right. baby. I mean, right. you have your whole life. You can wait till they're five or six or seven or never. Or anyways, in or a be responsible. Or in a yeah. best <laughs> or with their grandparents <laughs> or whatever. If that's what you need yeah. to do, then do that. That's but, yeah. We, we're just, I'm There's pro zero. mama gets some sleep. That's what I am. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mama, get some sleep. If that's what you need to do, you know, well, keep them so in the room benefits. with you. And well, it's just about what works for you, though. Yeah. Don't do not do yeah. what everybody else does because it worked for right. them. Yeah, it might exactly. not work for and you. Don't, don't I got judged so bad by family and friends for right. letting my kids sleep in my bed. You know what? One seven and she's still there and I don't care. I don't care and what yeah. anybody don't thinks about it. Pressure yeah. too co-sleep no. because multiple... Uh, right. We're, do we're what just works. People mm-hmm. and the public, which is what this show is about, is, is coming alongside of you guys and and being there as you do this transition and this journey is not to say do what we do, it's to say most of what we do is against the norm Mm -hmm. and it's okay. There's not many people out there screaming from the rooftop saying you cannot put your baby in a crib. No, it's you cannot close it. So don't take this, you have to do it, but um, makes breastfeeding easier. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Many mothers and infants are able to achieve nighttime harmony, absolutely. It teaches baby how to breathe. Uh, babies sleep better and stay asleep. They thrive more. Um, parents mm-hmm. and infants become more connected. Abso-freaking-lutely. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and also another really cool thing is, especially when um, they get their first cold or their first, like, where they're, their first fever, mm-hmm. having that baby right there next to you where, I mean, a lot of times Patrick would have a bling, the baby yep. would be laying on him mm-hmm. because he could monitor the babies breathing and oh are they stuffy are they struggling with breathing right. like all oh, that yeah. kind of especially in temperature when, mm-hmm. it was it was a way mm-hmm. to really keep tabs on what's really going yeah. on mm-hmm. not only creating those connections and that bonding but you really know what's going on there's none of that oh no I have to yeah they're right yeah. there they're right I think there. sometimes we would get into the habit of 
using the crib or a bassinet or something, and then the baby would get sick, and then it would end up I mean, back in our bed. In the, well, <laughs> make sure that everything. I have fine. story here because as we were sitting yeah. in your office a little bit before the show, and I always go, "What are we going to talk about?" We do that every time, yes. And I thought about every time I would start to say, I've got to get this baby out of my bed, or my marriage is struggling, we should Mm -hmm. touch on that. Mm -hmm. My marriage is struggling because this baby's in my bed, or whichever. Something would pop up on my newsfeed, or somebody would shoot me an email, or somebody would walk by and would say something about the benefits of cold sleeping. I'd go, okay, I'm sold again. Mm -hmm. I'm not putting this baby, Mm -hmm. I I, I might not have sleep right now, but I can't let him cry it out. That's kind of how I feel about the show. Every time I get to the point where I say, what are we going to talk about today? Does anybody want to listen to <laughs> like, you know, me ramble, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I walk out, and somebody yep. in the waiting room says, mm-hmm. hey, I watched your show. Somebody just said about the Sunday episode, the girl that was like rocky in the beginning, I'm like, yep, that was that, me. That was her. <laughs> didn't know how to start. Didn't have any drinks before yeah, the show. Didn't have to, <laughs> that was a really cool show, and they had so much fun, and I learned so much. Yeah. And... Um, I found out that a family member's been watching. She doesn't comment, she doesn't like, she doesn't share, she can't watch it live, but she goes, I watch every one of those shows and I learn so much. So if you're watching in the replay, please let us know that you like this. Please let us know that it's worth it. Because we might seem like we're all calm, cool, collected on the show, but beforehand we all go, what do we have to say? Just like every mom out there. Well, and because we second guess that we're bringing any value, because we just live this and we don't think about people who don't know it. That's really it. You know, I mean, there's 125 so people on I right know. now. Oh I <laughs> that helps. It helps us do it. <laughs> yeah, it's so fun to see to see the numbers and to realize uh-huh. that people are hearing like a different perspective on some of this stuff. Or that they want to hear. Sleep in the crib <laughs> with baby works for transition. I've so done that. I've done that. I've so done that. I was not fitting the crib. I did that for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and and just to add this, um, Cassandra, thanks for saying that the rock and play. Um, babies were in there too old and they were starting to oh, sit up and over. flip out. Yeah. Okay, so just again. like read the warning and don't put your kid in there if they're too old. Common sense on I us. <laughs> if your baby is standing, oh, yeah. you can't or leave sitting them up. I think there's don't a few of those, those type of things that yeah. that was yeah. happening too. Yeah. Well, yeah. so I, I did get a question <laughs> and it's from my husband. So Brian, oh. you could have just put it on the post so that everybody could see it, but how do you put your kids to bed at night? when they sleep in your bed. Ooh, Magic boobs. Sorry, Do you what? just go... <laughs> what? Okay, the people that don't have Wait, yeah, them. Yeah, the or... people that don't, that don't oh, nurse their seven-year-old kid. <laughs> I say that because... Or how do you do it when somebody else is watching your kids? Battle. So it's like, how do you... Put... Okay, but like, how do you put your kid to bed? To uh, bed in your sleep. bed and then you leave. Do you All go to bed at 8 o'clock when your kids go to bed? Yeah. You do. <laughs> I was like, yes, yes, I do. Yes, <laughs> because you uh, need sleep. Actually, Christy probably doesn't remember this. Jace was, well, he had to have been at least four or five months old. This is me being real here, and we got to the point where we found out there was no husband wife time, right? Right. And I remember looking at Christy and going, "Is this what co sleeping is?" And you looked at me and you said, "It gets better." You will hit a point, and I'm like, are you sure? Because I feel like this is never going to end. I'm going to be in bed from 8 o'clock in the, at night till 8 o'clock mm-hmm. in the morning. I'm tired. Boobs hurt. Like, this, there's no end in sight. And you looked at me, and you said, I promise you, you will get to a point where you will put the baby to bed, and you will get back up. And at some point, it was like a switch flipped. Mm-hmm. And... And she said, there's multiple other places than the bedroom. Because that's the other thing. Right. Yeah, creative. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I hear well, Wes must hate that. Actually, he like, works 12-hour days, and he prefers to cold sleep, but I won't go on that rant. And she said to me, and there is a point. So now when they're young enough, we nurse to sleep. Mm-hmm. And if yeah. I'm not nursing and somebody is watching, bottle feed to sleep. That's mm-hmm. how Jackson goes to sleep. He nurses or has a bottle or to slams his nook on the wall for long enough that he just falls asleep. That's his new ammo. <laughs> or for the older kids. Or for the older kids, we just lay in there till they fall yeah. asleep. And Jace is at the point now that I say, I don't want to have to do dishes while you're awake. I want to read you stories. I want to mm-hmm. play trucks. You're going to go in my bed and you get to stay in there, but you're going to go to sleep without me. And most nights, if he doesn't fall asleep with me because I don't want to lay in there for a half an hour, right. I lay him down. And by the time I get up, do dishes, showers, watch a movie, he ends up sleeping. Mm-hmm. 
It is a transition, and I remember being really frustrated that there's a certain age bracket where you're like, I don't feel it, like you say, I don't feel like laying here. Mm -hmm. You're like, mm -hah. I have when so you have much things, to do. Yeah. You have all this stuff in your head. You're like, oh my goodness, because when Daddy puts them, like, you know, he just kind of lays there for two seconds and then, you know, yeah. like, then talk about like, your oh. song. What your song you had? Oh my! Remember how you ended up doing that with that was with Felicity. Callista. One of the two. That's each kid is different. There's so that that's exactly it. Yeah. With Faith, we didn't realize how needy she was until Trinity came along. <laughs> <laughs> I laid down. I would lay down with her because, of course, breastfeeds feed him to sleep. I laid down with her, and I would um, I, as soon as she was sleeping, I would get up and I would have like an hour, and then all of a sudden she'd be up, and I'd go lay down again. I'd be mm -hmm. up, you know, like it was like this constant whatever. Trinity came along, and suddenly I, I would like rock her, feeding her, and lay her down, and she was good. I was like, oh, what? <laughs> what in the world? Yeah. I never. I, it was. It was like. And so Trinity then grew up saying, "Mama rock." Aww, she would say, "Mama cute. rock," and so then she, I knew she was tired. I could just lay her down. She stayed sleeping. It was amazing. Callista came around and. I had to bounce her. I had to sing. We we would drive in the car. True Callista fashion. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know her personality. True enough. Callista fashion. Callista Big. was by far the hardest. <laughs> I mean, yes, there was a song that went along with it to just like to create some kind of. We had a whole playlist for. <laughs> we had a playlist for Felicity because it was like her. I still have it on my phone. It's Felicity's song list, and it was like you'd start playing it. So it always started with the same song, and she'd kind of sing along with it. And by the third song, she was out. But every kid is very, so very different, very different. Mm -hmm. And yeah. just oh, like look at your said, two kids. Be patient. Kaden goes out like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Sid is my fighter. Yeah. She will not give in for anything, anything. She's been obviously co-sleeping with me longer. Um, so we finally got into her house, bedroom's done, and my son's like, see you later. Every once in a while, he's like, Mom, guess where I'm going to sleep tonight? Yeah. And he'll be like, with you. <laughs> um, but majority of the time, he wants to be up in his room. Sid, at seven, wants absolutely nothing to yeah. do with it. Nothing. We did it for like two weeks. I'm not going to lie. Things just got crazy, and it, I wasn't going to put the effort in it. Like, mm -hmm. right now, we just had too much going right. on. Yeah. And that's just me being completely honest. I'm like, I'm not, because it was literally... Two o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning, the six o'clock in the morning, no. and then by the next day, by dinner time, she was such a bear. Like, a train like wreck. <laughs> I was like, "Hello, is my child in there anywhere?" Because she was just like, D -d 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 -d, like she couldn't stop. <laughs> and I finally looked at Jason. I'm like, "I'm. We got so much coming up and going on. Like, I'm done. I'm not doing yeah. this right now. Mm -hmm. I let Caden decide if he wants to crash with me for a night. He comes down by me." If he doesn't, Jason will go up and, or I'll go up and lay in his bed with him until he's out. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we have her whole room done, pretty unicorns and all this stuff, thinking <laughs> I was going to be like, yes, yeah, she was so happy about her bedroom. And she's like, I'm going to go to bed tonight. Or she said, I'm going to sleep in my room tonight. And I said, okay. Her anxiety level was mm -hmm. so high all day, knowing that she told me she wanted to sleep in her room. So in her mind, she had to do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, her anxiety was through the roof. She didn't go to bed till oh, probably one o'clock in the morning when she finally, I could get her to calm down enough to go to bed. Mm -hmm. But she's also me. I can't tell her we're going anywhere or doing anything. Yeah. Otherwise oh, yes. she's like, yeah. it, it, she can't, I mean, even this morning, she didn't go to bed till late last night. We were struggling with an earache, just all the swimming they've been doing. And she knows we're going camping and she's like, when are we going? When are we going? And at oh. eight o'clock this morning or seven thirty, she's up. I'm like, you just have to sleep. Yeah. But, but I, it's my guy. I that way. This is a season. It is oh a yeah, season. and in the blink of an eye, they're 13, moving their room to the basement, and texting <laughs> you, "Is dinner ready?" Yes. <laughs> yeah. May or may not. No. It's telling that for a friend. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah right. For, a friend. for a friend. Asking yeah. for a friend. Oh, I would say though, like with the older kids, like the bonding that happens now, it sticks with them. So, I remember even as a kid, fabricating reasons to cuddle and snuggle just mm -hmm. because I wanted to be with them. So now with a 13 year old mm -hmm. and a 15 year old, we always kind of had that open door. Now if they show up and like my boy, like will lay on me and like snuggle during a movie, sometimes I'm not into it, but I'm like, you know what? This kid needs it. 
for a reason, mm -hmm. for whatever they're going through at school or with friends or whatever. I'm like, they're looking for stability mm -hmm. and you know that acceptance somewhere. Right. So even with the older ones, I'm like, come on in, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. like snuggle on a mo you know, on movie time or um, they'll come and crash on the bed while I'm getting ready. And I'm like, just that kind of stuff, I think still mm -hmm. helps them. Well, even Jason, you know, connection. like Jason said, and he's the one that gets to go sleep in a different room. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, I mean, he doesn't mind it, but, you know, yeah. and I, we had the discussion one day, like, if this is an issue or where are you at, you know, obviously before it all started. Mm -hmm. And he's like, they're long, they're young for this long, for mm -hmm. this long, mm -hmm. you have them for this long, they can be in your yeah. bed for, yeah. and eventually, like you said, they're gone. They're texting you from downstairs. They're out mm -hmm. with their friends and they're like, Whatever we'll we'll see you later Saturday. One of said's friend girlfriend, one of the parents called. He said, "Want to come to a movie and go swimming?" And I was like, I mean, a part of me wanted to be like, "No, no. she's hanging out with no. her mom I today." Her home. Yeah. <laughs> but that's I was like, it. and I felt that's... bad at first. I was like, "Well, that was the first thought in my head." Was no, <laughs> nope, she can't go. No, because I want to take home. her to that movie. I want oh, her to come so swimming me. with me. That's so I was this weekend, so, Jay, like, told don't me. take my kids. I want to take them. I want to be the mom. <laughs> This weekend, Jace told me that he's never gonna have a girlfriend, oh. and he's gonna sleep with me for the rest of his life. What did you get him to not sign off on that? And I'm holding him and huddling him, and Wes is in the background. He's lying. I'm like, shh, shh, shh. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Let me just enjoy it. Let for me just enjoy it. I'm like, you I promise. But really, that you is promise. I'm gonna be your only girl. Yeah. Yes, mommy. <laughs> I think that is part of it for me, though. Being working moms is wanting to spend that time with your kids. Yeah. And in the fall, it gets so busy. You're not home till 5:30 or 6, and they go to bed at 8. It's like you get three hours, less Donna than three says, hours. Love your honesty. If that's one thing we are, is honest. I'm so honest. Yeah. By the way, please like. We told a story in the beginning of how we forget to ask for likes or yes. loves. Yeah. Love us, so love it. <laughs> let us know where you're from. If you're watching in the replay, please let us know. Let's say hi to some people here. Is the hi, well, Donna. Let me, I just have to finish something. I have to finish something and say that it's it's nice to see like to sleep with the kids when you miss them. Because they're like really, really cute when they're sleeping. Oh, they're so big. They're so and quiet. They love you so much. And they love you <laughs> and they're cuddly. So I just oh think they're they cute even when they're sleeping. Is but the, really, it's the replay on YouTube. No, I mean the, yes. she just means the replay so, like, like on, on YouTube. Make but sure you YouTube. subscribe. The bell. Subscribe and hit we the, the bell. This. Hit the, the bell. bell. So that you get Listen to us good. telling you everything that you're supposed to be doing. There's 306 people on, so I just feel like we have to say hi again. Yeah. Hi guys hi. and girls. And hi Lindsay. Lindsay said our little guy goes to sleep in his crib on his own in two seconds, but took a while of myself and my husband laying next to him in the crib yep. so he doesn't mm -hmm. cry so himself cry to sleep. sleep. Yeah. yeah. It does take time. And then someone says they start in the bed. They start in their own beds, but then wake up in ours. That happens a lot at my house. They start in their own beds. I actually had Carter sign a contract when he was nine. The only way that he could be ten, with you know, Jason, Jason's promise. Jason's promise. Jace. Jace. Jace's promise. Jace. Jace's promise. So, yeah, I'm like, the only way you can go into double digits is if you sign this contract. Like, you're always going to snuggle mama, you're always going to be friends with mama, you're always going to... Oh, my God, you like, got to okay. sign it and give him that on his wedding day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, Did he sign, sign it? it? Absolutely. He signed it? Are you kidding? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. Yep. Oh, so yeah, I mean, he got bigger, nine. but the Heather, rest of the Heather, I feel like you need... Big. Heather's our designer. I feel like Heather needs to make us a contract. For a mommy moms contract? Moms to, moms to right. use. Mm -hmm. <laughs> resources. Yep. Yeah. Always That's awesome. Well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for joining us today. I don't have anything else on sleeping. I mean, I have lots. Hello. <laughs> anybody else have anything Should we else? ask for random questions? Yeah. yeah. Do we have yeah, any yeah, random questions, questions? Since, since we've got so many of you on yeah. today and we're Did you want to touch end? on, we did a, a shorter version of co-sleeping that we did probably four or five months ago, which kind of led into a discussion that we actually had with Dr. Patrick. Yes on sex after baby, which is more of like a postpartum with the little ones. But did you have anything to mention about that? Huh. How, that's I a mean, whole other show. Okay. <laughs> different show. We can find it, put it in the comments. Yeah. I just remember most actors say three to six. Three to six years. Weeks. And we thought years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. Three to six years. So just give yourself time. Yeah. Don't rush into it. You'll be fine. <laughs> Co-sleeping for three to six years, seven years. I Whatever just have work. to say that on the flip side, there's other benefit to cold sleeping is if you are trying to not, you know, obviously we're against conventional birth control. So cold sleeping is a natural form of birth control. It is. It is. It is. It can be. On that okay. note, though, it does not have to be. 
because that we talked about that. We said we're going to touch base. Christy said, "Get creative. That doesn't have to be an excuse. It doesn't have to be an issue, right?" There's a lot of other we won't rooms list in the all house. the places. Because so much furniture. Lots so of many showers. Furniture. <laughs> Unless you just got a new couch. Yeah. <laughs> It is not going to stay that new for that long. <laughs> I feel like this is a Moms After Dark episode. It's turning into a Moms like After Dark episode. I feel like we're looking. If you love our honest life. Okay. Did you watch the Did show last night? Did you watch the show last night? I watched the after beginning after of the show, the show and then I had to put the kids the to bed. Yeah. Wait, we're talking about this? Like, let's oh go to, the, to putting the kids to bed thing. Um, somebody asked, how do I get my almost two-year-old to sleep past 5.30 a.m.? Bedtime is 7.30. So what are your bedtimes? Does it change in the summer, in the fall? I don't know because... What do they sleep? Bella's my early riser. It didn't matter. And Nicole, the office manager in Green Bay, same with her kids. does not matter if Bella would go to bed at 7 p.m. or midnight. That kid was up yep, at 6 p.m. That's, that's my boy. Really? Internal I was, time yep. clock. I will tell you this. Who said this? J- Janin? Janan. Janan. Yeah. Janan. Janan. Jan. Um, <laughs> it's awesome when they're school age. Yes, yeah, my teenager, I don't yeah. have to pull her out of bed, I don't have oh, to set an alarm, true. I've never had to wake mm-hmm. her up, there is no pulling yeah. hair, I mean, I used to sleep through alarms that sounded like trains before I was a morning person, now I've worked myself into being a morning person, because mm-hmm. all successful people are morning people, I believe, for the most part, but never had to... My kids woke up early, and I would just leave clocks in their rooms. Like, if they were coming out that. and, like, waking up, yeah. waking us up, mm-hmm. we're like, okay, yeah. here's your clock, either digital or whatever, and then just mark it, either put a number of, like, you can't come out until they 6.30 make, or 7.30. They make 7:30. fancy ones now that change colors. Yeah, they do. Like, <laughs> reds or greens. You and, don't need to I'm, mark I your clock. I'm trying to think of all the options and say them all at once. So, yes. yeah, either get a clock that works or, like, write down the numbers underneath the digital so they can understand it. And so they know when they can get out of bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got enough to do in their and, rooms anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and even even if they're awake at five thirty, make them stay in their room until the clock turns yeah, green. You can come because if they they're have not to gonna come in our bed yeah. and come to sleep, we always say, okay, stay in the bonus room, play Legos, you know, turn the light on, read some. Mm-hmm. I mean, the books are all there. It's it's the yeah. fun room, so they know what they can do. I had a mom that reminded me. I had a mom that did that with her son. Mm-hmm. Taught him what seven or seven thirty was. I think seven. And mm-hmm. eventually, because he knew he couldn't get out of bed or out of his room and there wasn't anything fun and exciting, sleep. he couldn't go to watch TV or cartoons, he ended up starting to sleep later. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, that could not that. happen for my kids, but that's yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah. I have heard that. My boys will sleep all, I mean, I'm not looking forward to school years. They're hard to get out of bed. Like, Jackson yeah. slept till 11 on Saturday. Oh my gosh. Mind you, he was way overtired and I then laid down what? with him at like 9 a.m. and nursed and he just went yeah. right back Whoa. to sleep. But, but then what? Like, so did you still do a oh, nap? Oh, the laundry was an, oh, I thought you meant about the No. <laughs> but did you just still do a nap? No, it was all messed no. up. We went yeah. to Target. And went Instead. Shopping. Yeah. Also That's dangerous. Fun. Very dangerous. Great for moms. <laughs> but anywho, oh. thanks for joining us, everybody. Yeah. We are here next week, and... Yeah, and if you have topic suggestions or things that we yeah. haven't talked about yet, post them in the comments or send a message. Absolutely. And maybe we'll think of talking about it. <laughs> maybe we'll think <laughs> of it. <laughs> <laughs> or we maybe. might talk about it for like 10 minutes and then go to something else. And if you watched the last Moms After Dark episode, that was based on making healthy, clean, mm-hmm. alcoholic drinks. We're not opposed some topics have been brought up that are definitely not a 2 a.m. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Monday kind of conversation, but I have no problem getting more real. These girls don't have any problems, so so that, do you that's have plans for another Moms After Dark episode? Like, like, they have to tell us they want one. So what exactly is the scope of Moms I mean, After Dark? I don't know. I mean, things, things that don't fit into 2 p.m. 2, 2 p.m. <laughs> On Mondays. <laughs> on Monday afternoon. It just didn't seem right to do an alcohol show on 2 p.m. on Not Mondays. Really. Probably doesn't seem right to do a furniture show. <laughs> at 2 p.m. on a there. Monday. <laughs> furniture <laughs> show. Got it. That's code word. No. Right? No, nobody's going to be able to talk about furniture anymore. <laughs> we got a new rug. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> Is it new? <laughs> furniture? Is it new furniture? Mountains, furniture. Oh boy. This is going oh, south no quickly. No That's what he said. The, 
I don't, I don't know if now is the right time to mention what your comment is because I don't know what direction it's going to go, but your pantry. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, the yeah. The Flynn's Pantry. She said Flynn's Pantry. So we're going to do a Moms After Dark episode about furniture in Flynn's Pantry? <laughs> no. Oh. We're going to yeah. see Christy's <laughs> oil collection. <laughs> Cacao butter, all coconut right. oil, all sorts of things in your pantry. Monday at 2 p.m. Not afternoon delight. <laughs> this show needs to end. Do you want to end the show? I would like to end the show. <laughs> Let's end the show. See ya See next bye. week.